Alrighty. He wasn't even in The Departed? That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell you people. It, dude, it feels like we should have had like more on the post-it note done, but we got to remember, we got that whole border there. Dude, we haven't played Tainted Lilith in so long. Peas don't even come depotted. That's what I'm trying to say, man. I'm looking for some non-frozen depotted peas. Okay, sorry. We're. I'm... When I told my friends I wanted to be a stand-up comedian, everybody laughed at me. Well, nobody's laughing now. Did you know, so everybody knows Dan does not like um, peas. Depotted or otherwise. Did you know, and this kind of blew me away, this guy doesn't like corn either? What's up with that? I think he's just... I, I, if you put something into fried rice... I think Dan is just gonna hate it. Like, all, he wants his fried rice to literally just be like boiled chicken breast and and white rice. That's it, man. I can't, but when he said he didn't like corn, I was like, what the heck is this guy talking about? I mean, it's not my favorite vegetable, but to not like it is like, it's his personal choice, don't get me wrong, but it's it's just surprising is all. We're free. I don't mind it. Is there usually corn in your fried rice? On occasion, there's you, you can get fried rice that has little, uh, you know, like textural uh, circuit breakers in it. Corn, peas, little cubed carrots and stuff. No, it's not Dan's game. It's pretty good. Corn mixed in with rice is good, man. It's not just for livestock. All right, well, I guess never had a choice. I tried to let you live, by the way. Now instead, you're gonna have to give me magic mush. Or I'm gonna become the Joker. All right, that's good enough. Joker averted. Mm, you know what? I, I think we go boss rush, hush, dark side path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no longer at the boss pool. Psh, going offline, guys. Psh, going back online, guys. It's not that bad, but it is modestly disappointing, at least. Like, I'm, uh, now I got to come up with new commentary for like what the the best possible item you can get there is. Going online, guys. Yeah, it turns out this is my job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it moving. Anyway, booster pack is the new magic mush. Yeah, booster pack's a pretty great item uh, for me to poop on. Pog. Okay, now this is Pog. Mix it up, baby. Mix it up. Haven't watched you in a while. I don't remember you talking like you're from Boston. <laughs> I'm not talking like I'm from Boston. The bit was Ben Affleck, who is from Boston, at the grocery store, asking for peas that have been taken out of their pods, a.k.a. depotted, which sounds very similar to the way that someone from Boston would describe the movie The Departed. I didn't think I had to explain every single joke uh, to the point that it wasn't humorous anymore, but apparently there's no room for subtext on this website. Dad, you're scaring me. You disgust me, Murray. What do you get? 
When you mix a non-frozen vegetable with a society that pronounces their R's like Oz. You get what you freaking deserve. <laughs> Dude, they should make the they should make the Joker from Boston. J O K J O K A. Joker. Hey, what are you turning into the Joker or something? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you think the climate is right for my Seth Rogen TikTok to finally go viral? Now that I have some virality under my under my belt. Last year, when I was coming up with TikToks, um, I made a TikTok that was Seth Rogen's face painted as the Joker, and then the text said "smoker," and then the sound on the TikTok was just the sound of Seth Rogen laughing, and. Nobody laughed at all. Everybody was like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. I still think it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. The world wasn't ready for that one. Ooh. It did not do well. Still isn't ready. No, everybody on TikTok loves Seth Rogen. They know who he is. They're like, you're the pottery guy. The pottery head. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going boss Russ, boss Russ. Boss boss Russ. Yeah, that's how you, you're not wrong. If Chibli said it, like people would lose their mind. Lol, so true. Meanwhile, I make dozens of on-par or better jokes, and everybody ices me? Like, I thought Chibli would be stoked when I told him that there was a uh, Sanskrit philologist known as Panini, but he didn't even bat an eye, man. He didn't even, like... He didn't even say lull. Or erm. He just, like... Didn't even respond. That's not how it's pronounced. It's how it's spelled. It's definitely spelled like panini. It's not that funny. You don't think it's funny that one of history's greatest minds is named the same thing as a hot sandwich? I think it's pretty hilarious, quite frankly. I honestly, it's, I think it might be one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Again, that's not how it's pronounced or spelled. If I were to write it, it's I would write Panini. But really, I'm just trying to drum up some more attention. Like, I'm just trying to get some, some Panini press, you know? Nice try. Plus two. Let's go, baby. Back on to back on top. Plus two. Plus two. It's the power of a fully caffeinated battle station, man. The bits are connecting again. I'm, I've got some coherence in the bits. The incoherence is by design. Like, it's the caffeine, man. Hey, don't tell me to F off. You F off. Friend off. Like, don't be my friend anymore, because you're saying mean things to me. Um, I say no. Oh, six, six cents for a rune? Six cents for a rune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just want to go down the ladder. Fly away, pelican. Six cents per cano is not so bad. What's plus two, minus two? It's just math. It's just a math meme. Chat's really into math lately. They're all members of the, the Facebook group, I Frickin' Love Science, which mostly serves to sell t-shirts that say, Pluto's still a planet to me. Did you see the uh, 
unsealed Facebook internal documents where they announced they had more American users in the 18 to 24 and 25 to 39 age group than actually exist in the United States of America. That's wild, man. How'd they do that? That's, that's good customer acquisition right there. Man. That's crazy. Yeah, it's only 20 million more. It's like a rounding error. Like, built to spill. They forgot to carry the zero. Got the freaking shaved, okay? Now the cats are shedding. All the cat hair gets into the mustache and it gets stuck. It's like you don't even need a little mustache anymore because you can just get a cat hair mustache instead. Hey, I got a theory about um, lip balm. I would say it's it's one of those correlation causation things. You know that old song and dance? I didn't use lip balm very often, okay? Then my lips got a little chapped. I started using lip balm. Now that I'm using lip balm, my lips get chapped all the freaking time. Riddle me this, Blistex. How does that happen? It's like my, it, it's a deodorant thing. It's a gateway drug. <laughs> it's because it's not lip balm. It's cork grease. You ever do that? Put cork grease on your lips instead of lip balm accidentally in music class? No, me neither. My music teacher told me not to. I think it's a conspiracy theory, man. I also think it's like, um... I think they put salt in the lip balm. But then also when I play as the tainted characters, I'm biting my lips. Like I'm in confession, you know? Gotta concentrate. That's true, I am a little bit more dehydrated. I've This is an honest-to-goodness truth. I've stopped drinking so much water during the streams because I like not going to the bathroom as much. We've really like minimized our, our bathroom time during the streams to like one. And I think it's a lot better. Like I feel like the streams maintain more momentum that way. I'm not sitting here in um, in torture. And then after the stream, I just drink like eight cans of sparkling water in an, like an hour and a half. I think the body just figures it out. We don't need it. Don't need it. Don't want it. Can't stand it. <laughs> Wouldn't be caught dead with it. Would be insulted. To carry it around on my person. Don't even know what it does, quite frankly. Hold on, actually, it's bookworm, right? Silly Edmund, that's not a book, that's a game cartridge. Sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. Dude, you think we could squeeze this out through the... Come on, what are you talking? Stalling, stalling. Okay, yeah, because we want to do boss rush. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it, move keep it moving. Keep it moving. There's a tinted rock in here. So true. Look at that. Absolutely correct. Dude, sulfuric tear with tainted Lilith is kind of cool. That's kind of neat. There's another tinted rock right there. Go get him. So true, bestie. <clears throat> Dude, I'm crave. Ever since we talked about barbecues, I've been craving a barbecue now. I can't remember the last time I went to a freaking barbecue. Same here. Dude, I'm telling you. 
Come on, that's like an insult. 44 cents, are you crazy? I'm not paying 15, I'm paying 15 cents for an HP. Well, I flipped the saucy when the earth to do it for you, mate. <laughs> Gotta get your yearly hot dog in. See, you're not wrong, though, is like the thing. I don't think I've had a hot dog yet this year. I like to get about one a year. And I, I haven't had a chance yet, because the Canuck Stadium is closed. <laughs> and I, you know, don't find myself at 7-Eleven that much anymore. We really flawless three bosses, huh? Serving hot dogs at my wedding? Dude. Now that's an idea. The, the food, by the way, at Josh's wedding? Food was great. Had some delicious salmon, Caesar salad. But I think if I was at a uh, if I was at a wedding and they served like, you know, a foot long hot dog. Oh, dude, a that open open hot dog bar with all the fixings. Now we're talking. That sounds like something you'd see on Marriage or Mortgage. Jay, you had one yesterday. Come on, come on, man. I feel like honestly, there's. Parts of America, or maybe like the whole country, where I'm, I'm really jealous of kind of like the gas station convenience store culture. Like, we don't have good convenience stores in Canada. Like, I, I've never met anybody, well, except for me in university, that would be like, you know, hey, like it's 11 p.m., you want to swing by the, uh, the 7-Eleven and get some taquitos or whatever? get some some two dollar big bite hot dogs we don't really we don't have like a sheets quick stop wawa type deal here a lot of other countries do not not just the us you know um japan has some great uh, convenience stores korea's got some great convenience stores there goes my luck upgrade Dude, Book of the Dead is popping. I'm a little jealous. What kind of mom would Kate be at the barbecue? Two white claw sunglasses, mom. That's that's my uh, that's my assessment. And you know what? She deserves it. She's been working hard on the baby. That's a mood. Perfect description. <laughs> Treat yourself. We're gonna have to put in a little bit of a rush here. In order to make boss rush, we're gonna have to become... Rush... Bosses. We're gonna have to... <laughs> we're gonna have to rush these bosses down. Frick yeah, barbecue baby. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday hot dog, baby. Tony Montana Tuesday taquito, baby. Taquito Tuesday. We're on pace. It's just going to be close. Thoughts on the Sopranos. Tony... Soprano to <laughs> no 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 oh we have an emperor card what am I talking about we we could just get there man um are you making fun of uh steak Monday no I wouldn't be I wouldn't be caught dead making fun of steak Monday it's just a bit that popped into my head unrelated to Tony Montana Monday baby Tony Mon Tony Tuesday baby. How do you know when it's time to shave your head? Um, I would say, like, for me, I just got sick, and I, I apologize for people that have heard this before. It does come up a lot. I got sick of, like, on windy days, always looking um, in, like, shop windows to see if my meticulously coiffed hair still looked the same as it did when I left the house. Uh... 
I ne- like, I would- I would had a receding hairline for sure, but I didn't have, like, open, you know, bald spots or anything like that, so I feel like I- I pulled the plug a little earlier than a lot of people, but I, I guess what I would say, honestly, is that, like, the younger you are, the faster you gotta pull the ripcord, because, you know, if you're, like, in your mid-30s and you- you got a little balding going on, there's- it can be dignified, at least for a while. But if you're like 18 and you, you you're starting to get a horseshoe, like you you gotta go before the horseshoe comes out, cause you're you know, you can't take those graduation photos again. You can't be showing up to prom looking like Kevin from the office, you know. So true. Hair is pretty weird, don't get me wrong. Dude, we're gonna have to- we're gonna have to go. I just wanna get like one last item maybe? Hey! What the- we have no keys. Oh. <laughs> Please, faster. I started to lose my hair, and I just pulled the long con and started to grow it long. Look, I'm not gonna pop a bubble for you. We still got a little time. Okay, we have no time. Um, oh, hey, Cobalt, what's up? Hope you're doing well. I saw your, your scuttlebutt on Tainted Jacob. I will keep you posted. Tainted Jacob, by the way, probably my most played character. Also, my least successful character right now. Which, you know, you could probably figure out for yourself why. But I'm here to tell you, I don't think long hair to counter baldness is gonna last as long as... That's not a long con. That's a very short con. You can get away with it if you are the front man for, like, a heavy metal band. It'll stay open. No! Bro. Oh my god, dude. I, <laughs> dark path, dark path, yeah. I was so <laughs> upset. Proptosis! Thank you, Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. Book of the Dead's gonna do work here. Okay, that was close. Again, I'm not trying to pop that bubble for you. I'm just saying, like... If it worked, you would see it more often <laughs> on young people. You see it on older gentlemen from time to time. Hey, hey, hey. No, I'm not much of a bushy beard guy. I just find I find it uncomfortable when when my beard gets too long. I, sh I shave uh, or I trim it up on the on the guard level too, like once a week and. By the end of the week, I'm feeling a little itchy, and that's when I know it's time to it's time to move on. A great big bushy beard. He had one thing you don't have. Oh yeah, what's that? A great bushy beard. <laughs> Every now and then I talk about best movie theater experiences. A lot come up, you know, John Wick 3 was a lot of fun. Both Infinity War and Endgame were a great time. Inglorious Bastards. But Hot, Hot Fuzz was up there too. Only knowing that I enjoyed uh, Shaun of the Dead and not knowing anything else about the movie coming in. Had a, had a very good time watching that movie as well. Don't... what the... Django was fun in theaters? Dude, I didn't see Django Unchained in theaters. I watched it... on... I got invited to a, a Paradox LAN party... in Sweden. Weird flex. <laughs> oh, you've never been? <laughs> My hotel was a boat. <laughs> anyway, um... So I, I went, and I had to fly to Frankfurt first. And it's a long flight. I was in the middle seat, 
on the 242 configuration. I'm not complaining, but you know, like, so you're, uh, it was me in like seat three. Seat one and two was like a, a young father, uh, a young mother, and then like their little baby. And then the baby was like crying up a storm. And they said, we apologize. And I hit him back with an off the cuff, don't worry about it, it's a short flight. And then we all laughed. And I was like, got him. It's ten and a half hours long. Um, but then I was watching Django Unchained, like right next to the right next to them when they had the kid on their lap. And I was like, I'm not turning it off. We're in the air, baby. We we could all be going down in a fireball in like the next hour or something like that. If your baby's old enough to get in a, you know, fiberglass airfoil, they're old enough to like, you know, see Jamie Foxx shoot some dudes in the, in the dick on a four inch screen, you know? They probably don't remember anyway. Yeah, it's international waters. What are you going to do when it's your kid crying on the airplane? You just got to, like, own it. What are you going to... I mean, what do you think I'm going to do? Be like, hey, shut up! No, I'm just, you know... You just go, sorry, and then you move on with your life. I'll be like, hey, who brought this baby here? <laughs> hey, whose baby is this? Somebody shut this baby up. Well, why am I sitting next to this crying baby that looks like me? That'll work. That'll work. Dude, that's a great get right there. Someone next to me on an airplane was watching Fleabag with graphic intercourse scenes and everything. Dude, I'm just here to say, like, the airplane is different. The laws are different in the sky. Which is definitely, like, not true. However, I'm like, you're, you're flying through the air. You can deal with seeing a couple of Michael Bublé's, you know what I mean? That was really well handled on this room. <laughs> no, explain. It was like you know, you're you're flying through the air, man. <laughs> it's not a good explanation. It's just more of a restatement. But I'm like, if you if your kid can handle seeing like. An areola. How are they gonna feel when the fuselage snaps in half due to the extreme turbulence over the Indian Ocean? And then we start plunging downwards into uh, an uncounterable tailspin. And the adults that they normally look to as their support system and, and for comfort are screaming and like praying and stuff like that. Like, if you can't handle seeing like like a little nudity, then how are you going to deal with being stuck on a desert island and like, yeah, there's some cool stuff going on, like Ian Somerhalder's there, but then like secondarily, hold on, I got to go to the cursed room, uh, like two seconds in, a lady's not paying attention and then the jet engine freaking sucks her in and then explodes and then it turns out there wasn't an island at all, it was just a metaphor for like purgatory or something how are they gonna deal with that I ask you longest lost joke of all time wait till you hear the joke about the departed <laughs> Jay, did you hear this one? <laughs> Where you? I could repeat it ad nauseum if you'd like. Is NL a libertarian? Does this answer your question? What's next? A license to cook toast in your own damn toaster?
personally, I think it would be nice if people had to demonstrate some basic competency to drive. Ooh. Great video. What did, what does the first guy say? Do you believe there should be driver's licenses? Hell no! What's next? A license to cook toast in my own damn toaster? <laughs> it's so good. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just I'm picturing it frame by frame. Hey, 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 easy. Yes, there you go. The, the video is called Gary Johnson booed at Libertarian Debate for supporting the idea of driver's licenses. Top-notch banter today? Oh, thank you, thank you. No, Gary Johnson is the reasonable one in the video, by relative standards. What's next? The license to fry air in my own damn air fryer? Anyway, that's all I got. We're going to the hush fight. I'll see you at the hush fight so you won't be lonely. See you at the hush fight so you won't be lonely. Two keys, huh? Two keys. I gotta think. This is the thinking man's play. Definitely that sucks. Left room always better. Bro, I don't know. Just just give it to me, okay? And then, this is where true gamers shine. Oh, no. I can't tap fire anymore because of Hemolacria. However, what I can do is search for a crawl space. Very, very, very slowly. Just give it a second. I know you're like, why would you do this? That's a good point. I only have 17 minutes until Rocket uh, uh, Rocket League. <laughs> what if the Thanos snap happened in real life and it affected streamers? 50% chance end of my career. 50% chance... Uh, Best analytics boost that ever happened. Okay. I'm gonna take the sack. Oh, that's true! Because you wouldn't just get 50% less competition. Screw it, dude. I'm not scared. You would also get... 50% less viewers, man. But, dude, imagine, though, if your joke didn't work, you could just be like, that one's for, that one's just for people in the blip. Then they'd be like, ha, 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 ha. It would be like the perfect, uh, the perfect uh, parachute to any bad joke. Guess you guys only got that one if you were there in the blip. Hey man, it's not funny. A lot of people died in that blip. They came back. Spoilers. It's a blip thing, baby. You wouldn't understand. Please just use bombs. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. But these two, you can't use bombs for these. This is too, it's too easy. Blip, baby, yeah. Everything that happened on the island was real and I'm pissed off. Jay, what do you mean? It was not it was not real. It was a it was a metaphor. It was like OJ. It was like 
if it was real. It was not a metaphor? Only the last episode was a metaphor? Wait, really? I've never seen it. <laughs> was... But I feel like I'm pretty confident I know everything there is to know. It's, it wasn't a metaphor. I was there. Half of the last season was a metaphor. The rest was all real. Really? So, like, the I thought that they all died in the plane crash. And then everything that happens on the island was, like, a metaphor for, like, being ready to let go. I'm dead. <laughs> Please stop. Dude. I do. you telling me that the smoke monster was real? I thought the smoke monster was like a metaphor for grief or something like that. Spoilers. The smoke monster sat behind me on the airplane. <laughs> Dude, this is blowing my mind. I had no idea. I thought it was all a metaphor, dude. I thought that's why people were so pissed off. He and Jacob are gods? Who the hell is Jacob? Oh, yes. The, the two gods of the lost mythos. The omnipotent smoke monster and Jacob. A guy. With a beard. Is that the guy who says the numbers, Mason? Enter the numbers into the console. I need to defeat the smoke monster. That's from Call of Duty Black Ops. All right, yeah. Yeah, keep forgetting. That's not a lost thing. That's that's from That's from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. My mistake. Get me out. Dude, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to beleaguer the already beleaguered lost fan base i'm just saying i i thought the whole freaking show was a metaphor man i didn't know that it actually all that stuff with like the others on the other side of the island was real and then the only part that was fake was at the end where they're in the the church ask chib maybe chib knows Maybe, Chib, were you there when they were filming it? That's a New Zealand thing, right? Dude, I'm amazing at this game. How do you know all this stuff if you've never seen the show? Bro, I've been around. Stop joking about it. My mom got killed by the smoke monster. The smoke monster is not real, though. You must be thinking about Jason. I mean, Jacob, Jacob. Wait, no, Jacob's Jacob's real. Yeah, yeah, my, my bad, my bad. There's a fun game we could play. Uh, Dan sent me a, a, a TikTok link. Do we watch it live on the show? Usually when Dan sends me a TikTok link, it's, uh, it's a video of somebody falling down, and I laugh every time. It's like somebody like on a skateboard falling down the stairs or something like that. I'm not gonna open it though, cause like it's from TikTok, so there's like a 95% chance it has like the most popular song in the world playing in the background. How sick would it be though if it was ooh papa? Ooh! ooh. Dude, Chib, I know you're here. Like, um, somebody linked me on Twitter. They were like, my girlfriend is obsessed with ooh, ooh, papa. And then they had gotten a cake from the grocery store. That's the end of the... I mean, you can just guess what it says on it. The cake just says ooh, ooh papa. Hmm. Kate's been roasting Dan's Instagram so hard. Definitely true. The other day, Kate was like, 
Hey, I'm trying to come up with like a username that I can use on Instagram. And it's gonna be like S H I T oh, that Dan says. And I was like, you know, I was trying to help her, and she shot down every single one of my ideas. It's like, you know, I'm don't hold it against her. It's before I went viral. I guess you can't put like a swear word in an Instagram username. So she had to get creative. He does post some weird stuff on Instagram though. I don't I don't know what's up with with Dan's Instagram game. His Insta stories have a weird energy. <laughs> I don't mean like a like an uncomfort uncomfortable or a disquieting energy. I just mean like you know, that sometimes you're just like, why did you take a picture of like an empty cup? And then he'll just say something ridiculous. He'll be like, you know, cuphead. And you're like, that doesn't explain it at all. You've just if anything, you've just given me more questions. So in this business, you either know the cup or you don't know the cup. I guess you don't know the cup. And you're like, Alright, I suppose. Cracked ore, baby. Nine lives, please. Dude, this run, rate of... Ooh, rate of fire, pretty bad. We, we could have done so much more if I'd actually just thought to take, like, Satanic Bible first or something. We could have done a lot better for ourselves there, but... I was just so excited I, I got it. I was so excited that he stayed on script. Spirit heart? Told up a copy of today's newspaper if this is live. All right, but all I got is this Wall Street Journal. Is that okay? Dude, the damage though? The damage though? Are we getting these cool familiars from Book of the Dead because we're on the dark room? Like, they're so strong. It happens on Shoal too. Man, man, oh man. Can of corn. I would not like to do a victory lap. Dude, we're gonna be like on pace. This is crazy. I didn't think it could be done. This this is maybe the highest quality Isaac we've streamed. Like we we've had some some awesome runs today as difficult characters. Like I'm impressed. I'm impressed with myself. Why am I doing more? Well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I guess I'm hoping Dad's key just drops. New new Dad's key just dropped. Any progress on trying to get people to play PUBG? PUBG will return. That's what I'm going to say. If you blow yourself up in front of the door, you'll get you'll get into the Mega Satan fight. Thanks to Cracked Orb. Wait, hold on. What does Cracked Orb do? <laughs> it feels like a debate, but we already got the Oh, no, we didn't get the post -it. We do a little... Oh, yeah, we, we'll probably get it. It reveals rooms on the map on damage. That feels like a heavy bait, man, but just give me a minute here, okay? Re but revealing rooms doesn't let me in. It's not bait. How do we get in, though? It reveals end unlocks. Oh, look, well, there you go. Why didn't you say that the first time? Would have saved us all this this song and dance. How do you focus on the game and uh, banter at the same time? 
The secret is that I don't really focus on the game most of the time. I would say I pay attention for about two floors on average out of the uh, out of your your representative sample of Isaac runs. Got him. And that's okay. Yeah. Some some people some people stand in the darkness. I'm trying this the uh, Baywatch theme song. Sorry. You guys are ready for that, but your kids are gonna hate it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, what I was gonna say is this is all just like a it's the a long con um, for when they eventually announce like an esports Isaac. Uh, and then, I have Nod Leaf. Oh my god. It actually worked! Not bait. Um, anyway, and then when they announced the Isaac Racing League, then we, uh, then we stop bantering and we become more powerful than anybody's ever seen. Why not buy Satanic Bible? Um, because it would give us... We, we would die picking it up, lose a life, and then when we use Satanic Bible, we would have the exact same amount of life that we have right now. I think there might be a case to buy... an item if we respawn on the outside of the room. Then that maybe makes a little bit more sense to me. I mean, I, I think if we if we respawn on the outside of the room, we should literally just buy all the items. To well, yeah, no, probably just to get as stacked as possible. I suppose we could just stand still and let Leech finish the job, or uh, yeah, Nod Leaf plus Leech. But that's like a coward's gamble. Should have done the coward's gamble. Okay. Um. Why not? Uh. Lola Zazel. Oh, I'm in. I'm in, baby. Little Abaddon, I mean. That's not a little Abaddon at all. That's black powder. I mean, to be honest, this should be the kind of run where you're capable of beating. Uh, Mega Satan on 1 HP? It's just kind of annoying. Man, if you drop the Spirit Heart... Then we'd be talking. That, that would have been nasty. That would have been a bad way to go. You already beat Mega Stan as this character? Yo, is that true? What the heck are we doing here? Just trying to spawn a void portal just to... Well, I guess, you know, I'm happy we learned about Cracked Orb regardless. I can't fight Delirium, though. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be late, man. If we get the chest, we gotta go through it. I, I, I desire, above all else, to remain punctual. What's the car, dude? Doesn't justice force you to take five pills or something? <laughs> what the? Get toasted? Please. Of all of my regrets, the most regretty... I can't even take it, man. Can't even take it. The most regretty of all is... um. Hemolacria. I think if we had not taken Hemolacria, we'd be in a much better spot. I think I lost my fire knowing we don't have to We don't actually have to do this. This isn't this isn't for all the marbles. In fact, it's for none of the marbles. 
No, I'm not gonna leave the game open with Nod Leaf up while I play Rocket League, okay? I get it, like it's, let's all laugh because it's a funny idea. And then let's never do it because it's silly. It's one of those ideas like Sausage Party. It's better as a concept than it is as, as a real thing that exists. Owned. Sausage Party BTFO. You can pretend I did it if you want. You could, you could type plus two. Pog, my streamer. So true bestie. <laughs> Please. Then, that's what we were missing, dude. We were missing the ultimate lemon party. Okay, angel statues. We're okay. Angel statues. We got so much damage, like a couple of couple of rod and flies will do it for us. Saved. Saved. One more. Not today. I know those I know those attacks. Right in the frickin'. Right in the frickin'. Right in the visage, man. Hit hit him right in the right in the Jacob. Baited. Get baited. <sighs> this is our last attempt, no matter what. If we die here, I'm, I'm walking into the chest. Finishing the run. So we, we just gotta make sure we succeed. Eee, I wish I'm not standing here! You nod leaf the attacks you're not confident on. You don't nod leaf the whole fight. If I come out on top, I send it back. Exactly. I will have the Gabagool. By the way, if you're wondering why I wouldn't uh, just nod leaf and let Angry Fly finish the job, I think you're getting a pretty good bit of reasoning right here. Just chill. Just chilling. Let's go! Screw you! The, oh, we didn't even get the Delirium Portal anyway. Look at that. Angry Fly finishes the job. Dude, we have a legit streak going in Repentance. What's up with that? Slash marker, so true, bestie, great run.